di Palengke. A distinct and core place for Filipinos. Rooted by its culture and traditions of the past. It is where we all see the nature of a Filipino. The hospitality, cheerfulness, resourcefulness. Adding it along with our fishes, livestock, vegetables, and plastics. In every corner, every stall in the market, plastics are a part of sight. It is used because they are cheaper, convenient, durable, and flexible. From packing our foods, carrying our purchases, or for storing and preserving, Undoubtedly, plastics are a great help for everyone. However, is this all plastics can give? After its big use, where do they go? After plastics are used, it will be delivered to serve its other contribution, an unwanted, unpleasant contribution. for authorities in climate emergency. I think that cited by the 2019 Global Peace Index notes is nearly half of the country's population lives in areas highly exposed to climate hazards like drought, tropical cyclones, and floods and The Philippines tops a list of countries most susceptible to hazards caused by climate change. Although plastics affecting climate change can be doubted at first, but it will be evident sooner or later. In the marine environment, natural carbon from the ocean is the largest source of greenhouse gases, and plastics amplifies it. Methanes and ethyls increases, thus resulting to global warming. Plastics are mainly the cause of destruction and pollution of the marine ecosystem. If our oceans are affected, so as our lands. I am I am Gemma Christie Lagari Vicada. I am the planning officer, but I am planning officer of the Municipal Planning and Development Office. But presently, because of the retirement of the previous Menro officer, I was uh, task to handle this office as the OIC Menro. But I am an environmental licensed environmental planner. I'm working with the, gov the local government unit of Kapalong for 21 years. In terms of the Menro, our functional statement really is to for the protection and management of environmental resources of, within the jurisdiction of the municipality. So in terms of our A900, with reference to our A9003, the barangay has a separate mandate, so with the municipal level, municipal LG has a separate mandate. The mandate ng barangay is to collect wastes from the households, and the municipal should collect waste from the material recovery facility. And the municipal is in charge of the transport 
from the MRF, transport of waste collected from the MRF to the disposal facility. Per RA9003, control dump sites are not allowed. Kaya, kaya ang di-allow lang sa RA9003, the sanitary landfill. And we are still operating control dump sites. Kaya nga, we, uh, we received a closure order from the DNREMB last February uh, to close all the control dump sites. And as of now, we are, we are still working on the purchase of purchase, assessment, pagyod, oh, assessment pagyod sa mga areas for sanitary landfill. Plastics. Plastics are a source of greenhouse gas and they also pollute our water. As to the perception sa effect ng plastic to the resources. In the context of rich to reef, ang taas kay ang gamit nato sa plastic. Giha pa sa taas niya from the ridge ito sa mga mountainous part, upland areas. Tapos dili siya tarong ma-dispose. Ultimately, dito gina siya padulong sa ato mga kanal, mga waterways towards the community na lower mag-clog ang mga drainage system because of plastic waste, single-use plastics. Tutod padulong na siya sa atong rivers and from the rivers towards the ocean. Unya kay do na siya effect sa atong resources from the upland resource, lowland resource until the water resource. Unya sa atong landforms especially nas mga upland areas niya dili siya mapulek dayon mag mabury man gid na siya mauban siya sa ato mga sayuta would take 10 to 30 years before siya ma ano compose and naturally based on studies ang mga plastics dili pa gid siya ma mawala sa environment in that lens tako siya og effect sa ato mga resources As plastic pollution increases day by day, spaces for landfill areas are also expanding. And what is meant by expanding is the cutting down of trees, replacing the area from the source of oxygen to a source of greenhouse gases. Additionally, the more we produce plastics, the more we burn fossil fuels, resulting in another contributing factor to climate change. Amidst the present problem of plastics and its future disaster to climate change, there are people who try to find solutions, and that is through the past. We have a tradition of organic packaging I mean, in, in the country, and it wasn't so long ago when most of the packaging that we had for our products were made out of uh, organic material. we have this old Filipino coat ang hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay hindi makakarating sa pororoonan. And these people are applying that principle to solve the existing problems of plastic towards climate change. Um, one of our main advocacy is to be able to educate as many people as we can about these packaging items um, to create awareness. Like if we make use of um, packaging that is actually much, much cheaper, but then you have to recycle it and or you have, it will end up in the landfill and it will not disintegrate. So it comes with the cost as well that initially we do not consider, but come to think of it, what will happen to, to those trash that end up in the landfill? It's going to be like harder for everyone to be able to you know, retrieve that or recycle it. So there's a study that only 9% of, of plastics are actually being recycled every year. There is a study that 
around 73% of consumers are willing to, to spend a premium on items that they know are actually um, sustainable. 48% of marine litter and plastic pollution in the Philippines is from packaging. It's the biggest contributor from 2017 and it is expected to continue to grow. EcoNest Philippines prevent the consequences of plastic pollution by introducing eco-friendly products such as cassava bags when melted are safe to be consumed by living organisms. Sugarcane bagasse containers, when broken into smaller pieces, decompose as fast as 90 days. And other wood and paper-based packaging that are bio-based and biodegradable. EcoNest has been supporting other local initiatives across the country. We are committed to circularity, aiming to provide you with not just eco-friendly alternatives, but to educate the community on the proper disposal of our items to be used as renewable energy and compost. Using modern technology to produce packaging based from organic materials. Implementing policies that urge switching back to organic and traditional packaging. The municipality has an existing municipal ordinance, number 1145, series of 2020 which aims to regulate the use of single-use plastic towards ang direction is alternative packaging to mabalik sa kanang mga biodegradable na mga packaging. In that sense, the residual waste or mga plastic waste ma-reduce siya and encourage po ang the use of plastics. So in, delete na siya instead of single-use, single, single use, Nag encourage of reuse niya at the same time he refuse um, use of plastic and promote the alternative way na ihang packaging like organic packaging or the use of mga eco bags the use of the traditional baskets traditional na net bag um, kana na municipal ordinance It is ironic that the environment we are destroying is actually the potential solution to this problem. Although the solution is currently on the move, its true success will be seen in the future years. Creating a sustainable organic packaging as well as promoting and innovating the culture and tradition of a Filipino. We need to rethink the way we produce.